Hello, boys, girls, and squirrels. My name is Daniel, and I'm a composer who produces, mixes, and masters my own music. So if you're producing your own music or other people's music, this is the channel that's going to help you raise your game to the next level. So today we are looking at Waves Retrofy, a brand new plugin from Waves. And right now, from the initial videos that I've seen released about it, it looks like it's being marketed towards beat makers. But what I'm going to test out today is this a plugin that's going to be useful to the rest of us? Is this going to work for rock producers? Is this going to work for electronic producers, um, pop producers, and even composers? So this is the plugin right here. And I can just go over some of the settings here. So there's four different sections. You have this uh, first section that's called device. Then in the middle here you have space section. Then you have noise and mechanics. And if we go back to device here, you can see that you can switch back and forth to from 50s, 60s, 70s, and 80s to get different filters. And then as you see this device knob, you can scroll through and it gives you different frequency curves um, for each genre. So you can pick a genre and then you can also sweep through the different frequency curves. And you got a tone knob here and you have input on the bottom. We also have squash right here, which I assume is compression, ringer, and you have a mix knob. And by the way, each of these sections you can turn on and off right here with this, uh, the green button on top of the, of the section. So let's move over to the space section. Now the space section has a delay and a reverb uh, both in that section, and you can sync it up to your uh, host DAW right here and uh, you can toggle through these settings which it'll take you through different time signatures right now it's set to a 16th note and then here's your level of the echo here on the left and then on the right below the reverb here's your level of your reverb and yeah as you can see you can switch between plate reverb spring reverb and then here in the delay section you also have a ping pong setting that you can toggle on and off um, also in the echo section on the bottom here you have the feedback which is going to give you uh, feedback on your delay and then you have an overall mix section right here on the bottom. Moving, moving over to the noise section this is where you can change between um, different types of uh, noise they have cassette one two three digital one two they have quite a bit of choices here electric FX, mechanics, synth, and vinyl, and you have multiple choices in each one. And then you have a threshold setting, you have gate, you have the level here, and, uh, and then let's move over to the mechanics section. This is where you can add wow, which is like tape a tape wobble effect that you, you know, when you use old tape, it has, it can have a wobble sound to it or a flutter, and this is where you can dial that in and play with that. So I have four things that I'm going to put through this today, and actually five things. I'm going to, at the end, I'm going to put it through a whole mix and show you what you can do running a whole mix th through this plugin. But first I have an analog drum set. I'm going to show you what that sounds like dry, and then I'm going to pop in um, this preset that I dialed up. It's called Drum Bus Sweet 16. So here's first dry. All right, let's pop in that effect. Okay, so there you have it. That gives you an idea of what this can do. Um, and that particular sound, the device is activated, the space and the noise is on, the mechanics is not. Let me play it one more time and I'm just gonna play around with some of these settings so you can hear what some of these different settings do. It's the mix knob on the device. Let's switch over to 50s. Turn up the feedback. Turn on our mechanics. Huh, that's like a pumping. 
So there you go. That gives you some idea of what this can do on, on an acoustic drum set. Let's move over to bass. So this is a, a bass synth line. And um, I'm going to play that for you uh, without the effect. And then we will um, listen to it with the effect. Okay, now this is a preset called Bathroom Bass. Okay, let me play that again and I'll just play around with some of these effects as it's playing. You can hear there's like that noise in the background. That's probably coming from no, coming from the noise section right here. Okay, let me play that again. Let's switch to 80s. Crank up the reverb. Crank up the feedback on the delay. Change some of the mechanics here. Okay, so that wobble A when you turn that up starts giving you that pumping effect. Let's, let's see what Wobble B does. Same thing, kind of a pumping effect. All right, let's move over to piano. Um, so first, the piano dry. Okay, now this is a preset under Ken Andrews. It's called Space Rock Guitar Lead. Play that. So let me play that again, and I'll start tweaking some settings here. You crank up the reverb. It's a plate. You switch a different noise. Okay, let's switch over to vocals. And first, I'm going to play the vocal dry. The stars are shining bright tonight. It's such a joy to be outside. Okay, now with the retrofy, this is a, a preset called Reverse Haunting Vocals. The stars are shining bright It's such a joy to be outside I promise you everything will be alright Okay, I'm going to play that again and just play with some of these settings. The stars are shining bright tonight It's such a joy to be outside I promise you Interesting, that's this ringer effect over here in the device section. Let me turn that back down. The stars are shining bright tonight. It's such a joy to be outside. I promise. 
promise you everything will be alright. Cool, that's that feedback knob I turned up in the echo. All right, lastly, I want to show you what this sounds like on a full mix. Um, this might be useful for sections where you want to um, have your whole mix go mono or just uh, sound really analog for a second or sound like a cassette tape for a second and then come back into a full mix. So first, here's the whole mix, uh, what it sounds like without any effects, and then I'll start changing. Um, I've got three different presets, actually, I want to show you on this full mix. So here's uh, first dry. Okay, the first effect I want to show you is called uh, Breakdown Verse, and here's what that sounds like. Okay, the second effect, this is a preset called Dreams on VHS, and that's just a cool name, and here's what that sounds like. Lastly, this one is a preset called Foreign Film Flutter. Let me play that for you. So hopefully that gives you an idea of what you can do with this plugin, and maybe you're starting to get some ideas of how this could be useful to you. I hope you got some value out of this video today. And if you did, would you like this video and also subscribe to this channel and make sure you turn on the bell for notifications because that lets you know when my next video is coming out. And I've got lots of great content coming out very soon. Also, in the description of this video, there's a coupon for 10% off of any Waves plugin. I believe it's over $50, but you can uh, feel free to utilize that coupon. So thank you so much for watching this video and we'll see you in the next one.